Now, in the US, former presidential candidate Mitt Romney has slammed Donald Trump, saying he's unfit for the White House and other establishment Republicans have followed suit. Now, Trump, as you'd expect, wasn't shy in his response. Park Jong Hong reports. It was a blistering attack against the Republican frontrunner in the race to the White House. Former Republican presidential nominee Mitt Romney slammed Donald Trump, taking aim at what he said were his abrasive rhetoric, personal qualities, and ill-advised policy ideas. Well, this is an individual who mocked a disabled reporter, who attributed a reporter's questions to her menstrual cycle, who mocked a brilliant rival who happened to be a woman due to her appearance, who bragged about his marital affairs, and who laces his public speeches with vulgarity. Donald Trump says he admires Vladimir Putin. At the same time, he's called George W. Bush a liar. That is a twisted example of evil trumping good. Romney's remarks were echoed by Republican Senator John McCain, who was a GOP nominee in 2008. Saying he shared Romney's concerns, McCain asked voters to think long and hard about whether they wanted to pick Trump as president. The divide between establishment Republicans and Trump supporters started deepening after the billionaire property developer won most of the states up for grabs in this week's Super Tuesday primaries taking him a step closer to securing the party's nomination. The party's old guard is uneasy about Trump's plans to build a wall along America's border with Mexico and temporarily ban Muslim refugees from entering the country. Trump supporters say the mainstream figures do not reflect their concerns about illegal immigration, the sluggish economy, and what they see as America's diminishing role in the world. Reacting to Romney's attack, Trump dismissed the former nominee and tweeted, quote, Why did Mitt Romney beg me for my endorsement four years ago? Trump claims he's being treated unfairly by the Republican Party and may decide to run as an independent, taking millions of voters with him. Park Jong-hong, Arirang News.